I've, I've been lacking in taste for the last, I guess, like, 10 years. It should have been less. This is awesome. Season four! Season four! <laughs> Welcome to season four of The Good Place. Ah! Okay, y'all ready to jump in? Yes! Yeah. Oh my god, wait, I heard about this. Everyone was talking about this song. I'm excited now. <laughs> anyway, so now you're reacting to the boy group NCT 127 and their title track, Superhuman, released in 2019. In interviews, the members have said that they believe being superhuman means everyone has the potential to be their own hero. The message they are trying to spread through the song is, if you believe in yourself, you can save yourself. The song is composed by One Take, T-A-K, and the top line is written by an L.A. songwriter named Adrian McKinnon. Have you happen. listened to this a lot? Yes. Uh, I'll just talk at the end. All right, good luck. <laughs> Why are you leaving? What are you doing? Go sit down. Where is he? Sit down! <laughs> no. Hey guys, so I'm reacting by myself because uh, I don't need anybody else, I guess. Three, two. I love it. This is a lot. <laughs> I like this sort of like electronic buildup at the beginning. There's a lot of like distortion noises. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Ooh. Oh. 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 The production on this? Ooh. You could Wait, what key is, is this in? Diamond sharp. It's so awesome. Uh D. Okay, nice. Nice. Okay. It's like a Zelda piece. I'll talk about it later. Oh. I like that space there. Oh, I like this. Yeah. This goes hard. I've, I've been lacking in taste for the last, I guess, like, 10 years. It should have been less. This is awesome. <laughs> I think the bass changes from four to six a lot, which is nice. Wow. Bullet that's time. a very good intro to a rise. Nice. Oh my goodness. That was sick. Nice, like, half time. Oh my god, this is so good. Yeah. I like how they, like, insert silences. I love little echoes. Yeah. All right. It definitely has a soundscape that's not typical K-pop. It's a little more nuanced. Yeah. Oh. Oh, that's so good. That literally sounds like Stranger Things monsters. But like in a lit way. I love that. No, whatever that is. I don't know what it is, <laughs> but I like it. <laughs> There's so much going on at any given time. Just like all the really quiet stuff. There's like 12 of them. Like, right? Okay, yeah. sorry, I exaggerated a little bit. Second breakdown. That's what all songs need is more breakdowns. <gasps> Hashtag game. They really play with like space. Yeah, like, timing. Timing, yeah, like yeah. leaving out beats. It feels like Or suspended. anticipation and silence. Yeah. This is still more bridge. Oh, it's gonna be so good. <laughs> oh, wow. Uh, everything about this. Oh. 
Oh. Yeah. That's nice. In the, uh, in the out choruses, changing the form of the chorus, like, a little bit is sick. I dig that. I dig when songs do that. Hmm. That's such a signature part of this is, like, their little percussion timbres that, like, aren't typical of just instruments you find around. But I'm thinking, like, I love the vocals in this and, like, some of their... Oh, hot. Okay. Why? Oh, because super... <laughs> I'm mad at myself. Um, okay, so, like, I remember I, I heard about this through, like, the Good Morning America thing that happened. The thing that stood out to me is that, like, the amount of, like, tracks that they have on this, like, for sounds and things like that, oh. it's, like, unbelievable. Yeah. Like, the sound design is nuts. Yeah. And also, they just have, like, musically, there's so much there, too. Like, there's a lot of, like, inversions going on, a lot of, like, gospel type of stuff going on. So, a lot of the walk-up stuff, record stuff. So, it's really cool. Yeah! Wow! It's cool. Yeah! Ooh. <laughs> Whoa. Ooh. <laughs> so, the song is about, like, breaking loose from, like, he was talking about, like, feeling like every day's the same and just so boring, and there was imagery of, like, robots, but I feel like the silences that they insert in there, like, out of rhythm, they're just, like, they jar you and they like, wake you up, and you're like, oh, okay, I'm coming out of my robot shell. This mm -hmm. is not like the other days. Mm -hmm. Everything about that was, like, perfect. The way everything was mixed, the samples they used, like, the creativity of it all, the cohesiveness of it all, the voices, the harmonies. And it, it was very much that, like, club dancing style music where, like, you know, usually they have, like, the lead up, like, da -da 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 -da, and then they, like, drop it. Yeah. But literally they just kept adding bridges over and over and over oh my again. God. So the, when I say bridge, I basically mean the lead up to, like, the big, like, chorus, like, the big, like, bass drop, if you will. And it can get annoying sometimes when people try to draw it out. It's like kind of a cliche thing. They, you know, kind of interpreted it as let's have a bunch of different bridges all with different textures and soundscapes. And it was kind of like a way for them to show off like all the things they could do. They were like, instead of one bridge, we're going to have like five and they're all going to be really different. And like, I just think that's like a really kind of like genius way of like really ramping up the, the musical tension without like overdoing it or getting stale. I thought it was really cool. I thought the beginning was by far the best part with all the really, really thick harmonies where they just have like octaves and fifths and then thirds all over the place. I love octaves and fifths. And then they brought it back at the end and I was kind of feeling like lost in terms of like the structure of the song. See, that's, that's what I was thinking about. You know, I agree. I feel like the best part was the intro because I was like interested for the longest time. And I don't think the chorus was super obvious with mm -hmm. when it was coming back exactly like it's in a lot of pop songs because you've got that like pre-chorus and then like you have the regular chorus chorus um and i didn't see that as much in this maybe they just didn't follow as like traditional of a like what beats go where and what symbols hit here and here and here but um so i think that kind of made it feel like a little bit less like you didn't get led through the song yes but then when the kind of intro-ish stuff comes at, back at the end. It's so satisfying. I... Yeah. All the nuances aside, this shit fucking slaps! Yeah! <laughs> it's very detailed, and I, I was admiring all the details, but I think what's even more admirable is it maintains a pop sensibility. It's doing lots of colorful things, but the whole chorus is just a downward major and an upward minor. It doesn't do what a lot of K-pop does, which is like a lot of convoluted melodies, like lines that are just kind of bouncing all over the place and not catchy, but it still manages to be catchy with just very simple melodies, which I think is what pop should be about. I mean, of course, there we can have elaborations and we can have creativity, yeah. but I think, yeah, NCT 127 maintains that really fundamental pop feel but but yet with all the atmospheres and the colors it's like changing at like they're like two different colors per second per second mm. and it's it is quite the thrilling ride i will say i think the bridge uh, i like the beginning of the chorus more when it just goes straight badass wow percussion yeah but the final chorus starts off with sort of like that clash and it should work more but i don't know why it does not work as well here but I think maybe towards the end of the song, they bit off a little more than they could chew. But man, it's so entertaining to watch them 
and see how much they could do with this song while mm -hmm. still maintain while still knowing the philosophy of it. Hi, so a little addendum here. Is that how you say that word? So, so this song reminds me of the Song of Storms from Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time and also Majora's Mask because it also uses the Dorian with the regular six. So it's like the, that regular six and flat six sort of oscillation. You know, your ears get used to it. I like that there were extensions. I like that they use non-diatonic major chords. Yeah, modal mixture sick. played a huge role in why that sounded like. Like, I mean, I think what they were talking about was being superhuman, like being able to like accomplish more. So I think by having a lot of the chords that you would normally see in this key to be minor, be major, it like makes you feel like you're you're striving for something like like ever better, like. You know, Meliora. Aww. <laughs> Aww. But yeah, I think that adds that sort of like layer of text painting where they're saying like, you know, we're not just sticking with major, we're going above that. <laughs> Dream, 